Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're gonna squeeze a little bit more power out of our Raspberry Pis by installing a 64-bit operating system onto it. So let's get started. Now, if you guys didn't know, Raspbian is actually a 32-bit operating system, and the CPU that is on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is 64-bit capable. Why are we not using it? Now, the key differences between the 32-bit and the 64-bit, simply put, is that the 64-bit could handle more data. To understand that a little bit more, we have to go back to bits and bytes, zeros and ones, on and off, basically. Each byte has a zero and a one, so that's basically two characters. Then two bits would be four characters and so forth and so forth. So on a 32-bit operating system, that's two to the power of 32. And then on a 64-bit operating system, it's two to the power of 64, which is a lot more. Theoretically, it should run the operating system much faster. So what we're gonna be doing is installing Ubuntu Server 19.04, the 64-bit and 32-bit onto the same Raspberry Pi, run benchmarks, and see how much of a difference it's gonna make. If you guys have been a long time follower of this channel, you probably know a lot of projects that I do compo composes around like VPN servers, torrent servers, a lot of server stuff, which will benefit from a 64-bit operating system. So let's check it out. All right, so here's the website and the link that I'm gonna leave in the description below for both 32-bit and the 64-bit pre-compiled images. Using Etri, you select whatever version you want and you can select the SD card that you're gonna load it into and then flash. Now this is a 32-bit version I'm running and it's a little command for sysbench and 7-zip. Now I'm gonna be running the same exact command on the 64-bit version and then we'll compare the results afterwards. All right, here we have it, the results for 32-bit and 64. And as you can see, 32-bit took 11.8 seconds to finish the sysbench, while it took only 10 seconds for the 64-bit. And for the 7-zip, you can see the MIPS are a little bit higher on the 64-bit than the 32-bit. So it shows that it's about 15% or so faster on the 64-bit, just from CPU benchmarks. So there we have it, just changing the operating system results in that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it because I was testing a lot of stuff beforehand and a lot of thoughts coming to my mind because I should be running a 64-bit for a lot of my projects. If you guys have any questions about this, hit up in the comments below and I will leave all the links in the description on where you can get the distros. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.